Good evening. As you know, my name is Tony Labosco, and I take issue with the project at Harry S. Truman Road as it currently stands. Now, I've contacted many of you directly over the last couple of weeks to address my concerns with this, and I've stated privately how it affects me on a personal level. I'm not going to get into that tonight. Uh, additionally, I've also expressed concerns about the cost of this project relative to the changing of the road grade, which I view as completely unnecessary, uh, given what Mr. Fuller indicated regarding MoDOT addressing the intersection. So tonight, I'd like to speak to you instead on a broader issue. The Declaration of Independence stated that everyone has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But the original text read life, liberty, and property. And that's what this issue is about on Truman Road, property. The city is threatening to use eminent domain to acquire some of this property. They're seizing it by force, if necessary. Now, surely such an awesome and invasive act by government would only be reserved for the most absolute necessity of projects. So when I heard about this project initially and that eminent domain was going to be used, the first thought was there must be a major public safety concern at play here. There's a sinkhole in the middle of the road and you have to reroute around it. There's major erosion or a landslide of some kind, a chemical spill, something big that affects lots of people that we must act now. But there's none of that here. The city wants to put in a bike path that goes nowhere, that very well may never go anywhere. That doesn't meet even the most basic definition of necessity. To take people's property for something that is completely an optional extra, that's unconscionable. Government should protect people's property and assets, not reallocate them on the whim of a small number of voters. Now, I understand that voters like road projects. Nobody wants to drive on a road that hasn't been maintained. And I understand that there are some issues with the roadbed that need to be addressed. I don't have a problem with that. Stick to that. Fix the roadbed, do the primary function of government, and safeguard the transportation system. But don't get into taking people's property to add things like bike paths or unnecessary little extras. That's not what we should be doing here. Moreover, the expenditure of additional tax dollars to raise the grade should only be done if it's absolutely the only way to ensure public safety, which I don't see evidence of. Now, I'm not an engineer. I don't know for sure the traffic patterns. That's why we've contacted MoDOT to see if there is an option to change the signal to address this. I believe that there is. So I would ask you to modify this project to remove the eminent domain issues, remove the bike path, don't mess with raising the road grade, and focus on what matters, and that's fixing the roadbed. Thank you. Thank you.